Hi all, how you doing? Hope you're doing great wherever you are in the world. So just less than a week ago, I did a review of Peak Moon and I got a lot of grief from uh, <clears throat> people in Telegram, even got banned from the Telegram, uh, been banned from the Discord and, and stuff. And I get a lot of um, people complaining, especially people obviously who've invested in the token saying I'm giving bad reviews and that kind of thing. So, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just sort of saying what I feel about it. Um, <clears throat> So you get stuff like, don't listen to this video, do your research on Pika and you'll find that it is, it is a moon trip just waiting to happen. <laughs> so you get stuff like that, all right? Um, now, I then, so you just went for a few negative comments, lol, all right? So I'm just pointing out a few red flags, which isn't obvious to a lot of people, just get sucked into these projects, believe everything they hear, on to find out the team overpromise and under the deliver. Or worse, it ends up being a scam nine out of ten times. I did point out positive in that they actually have created a big, created a beta game. It's completely boring as hell, though. Uh, let's, and then I put here. So this is a point I just kind of want to make from this uh, comments that, that I made on this old video. Let's see a video of their new real offices in Pakistan with the team working on the game. That would be a better video to make. I'm guessing that video will never get made. Okay, so six days oh less than six days later they do make a video all right so this is their first office so let's just play a bit of this so this is a guy called conrad he's one of the ceos I'll show you behind the scenes introduce you to a few of the team and have a bit of fun let's go hey how are you conrad i think it's going along pretty good i mean we're still sort of the early stages of world building but if you could see, we have something really moody, really atmospheric going on. So what's good about this? You're meeting the people, but you've got the computers and you've got the actual, um, you know, making of whatever it is they're making. It looks sort of the sort of stuff, software you'd use to make games and that kind of thing. I, I'm not an expert in game development. I, I do know a little bit, but not an expert by all means. All right. Yes, and with the best rigger in Pakistan. <laughs> I really think it's very, very well. I have just completed all the rigging of the characters, also adding some VFX in it. And yes, Shizar, how's it coming, work? Hello, hi there. It's going very tough, but we are like at the last moment of first. Uh, just... Okay, so I won't play all this. I can, I can leave you the links to these videos so you can look at it all. Uh, so that's the first one. So this is their first office, okay? And then in the second uh, video, um basically they've said that they're moving to new offices so these are apparently the new offices so let's play a little bit of this um what i would say is when you see this video you think oh this is looks a bit too bit dodgy okay because i've done videos before where they've done uh office openings and they've been similar to this with the sort of funky music and the balloons and flags and um uh i don't know what you call these um signs and stuff saying the new office names and that kind of thing all right so those kind of things on its own look sketchy so i'm i'm not saying this is sketchy by the way but so let's just fast forward this bit a bit so you get some already jokes about it which is good because <laughs> he hasn't really won anything, he's just opening up an office. So here's the new office. So this is what I like. You know, you, you see in the actual the office, it looks kind of genuine. People sat at computers doing some work, all right? Uh, it looks more solid, looks genuine, okay? This is the creative quarter over here. These are the guys behind the trailer that you're going to see very soon. The Unity team here. The Legends and some other developers. And this is the all-important blockchain team. The Legends here. The office is now live. The new office. This floor will take 80 to 90 people. And we've got another floor downstairs which will take the same amount of people. So we're growing fast the successful launch day of the office and more to come okay so that's all all, all well and good um let's just have a quick look at the peak moon price all right it looks like it's shot up here uh but 
down about one and a half percent. No big deal. Uh, <clears throat> pretty stagnant over the last week. Down a bit, but you know, lots of things have been down as well. So no big deal about the price or anything like that. <clears throat> uh, it's not got a lot of volume. It's 13.8 million market cap. And it's on Mexi, BitGet. So the the exchanges, which I've, I've mentioned in another video, uh, they aren't the best best exchanges in the world, but it is what it is. You've got to start somewhere, I guess. But um, my point to make is I just thought I'd make this video, try to get um, a more balanced view, I guess, if you, if you want to call it that, and give credit where credit's due. So I mentioned in the comment, you know, you need to do this, and they've done that. So you can say that Conrad's delivered on um, these videos, showing the office, showing that it's more realistic, is realistic. Okay, so it doesn't look scammy. It looks legitimate. So that's all, all that out the way, as it were. Okay, so the project, I would say, is a legitimate project, which is good. But do I like it? Do I want to invest in it? I would still say no. All right. Um, what I would ask is, please, can you let me back in the Telegram group and the Discord group? Because how the hell am I supposed to follow it? All right. Um, so I don't know why, you know, banning me is just ridiculous. OK, so there we go. Um, um, what have I got to say? So, yeah, if you want to invest in it, by all means do. But it, it, the way I look at this is we're coming up to the halving. The halving's in like one day's time. Um I, I just feel there's other projects to invest in. But uh, if you feel the need to put into something like this, then not by all means, go for it. Um, yeah, they're comparing themselves to sort of Axie Infinity and Illuvium. I'd also probably compare them to something like um, Sand um, because they've got, they're creating a metaverse, okay, with all these characters in, I think. So... <clears throat> I mean that's what the, that's what this team now have to deliver now. They have to do um, they have to put all this this massive team and rather than just paying them, which is you know gonna cost a lot obviously to keep all these people employed. I can obviously see why they've gone to Pakistan. No doubt it's gonna be cheaper than if you did all this in the UK. It'd cost an absolute you know, you're probably looking at ten times the price or something, uh, if you did it in the UK. So it's clear why they've gone to Pakistan to do this so that makes complete sense um, but you're going to be eating through funds regardless um, so if you are investing in Pika Moon this is kind of what you're investing in and hopefully then that will create some wealth in the future for however they're going to make money out of this uh, Pika Moon game um, but can, can they make money out of this that, that is a big question and I just think, personally, I'd rather invest in other things. So this is no like, uh, no downer on this. Um, if you want to have a go at it, then by all means, go for it. Um, but uh, things like sand, uh, that, that kind of metaverse, I think it's still too early, personally, um, to have gaming and crypto. They don't, they, they're not working at the moment, all right, in my opinion. Um metaverse stuff it doesn't seem to be taking hold as, as maybe it will but i think it's going to take another four years or so but maybe you have to get in early and and get there all right so maybe you have to be in there early and suffer the sort of consequences of being in there early sometimes because being in there early isn't always a good thing okay you can go through so much money where someone else can, can just come in and just take everything kind of from you and see all your mistakes that you make avoid all those mistakes and just go and create all the good stuff and just suck up all the gold as it were um but that, right I'm, I'm waffling now <laughs> i've given you a, 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 a peak moon investors a, a more positive video for you guys so get off my back <laughs> so like subscribe unsubscribe dislike do what you want to do all right thanks for listening if you got to this point <laughs>